Alicia. Elijah Wood. What are you doing in Austin? I'm here to cover South by Southwest for movie clips. That's cool. I don't know Austin that well. I happen to know it pretty well. Would you mind taking me to a few of your favorite spots? I would love that. This is one of your favorite spots in it Austin. Is, yeah. Uncommon objects. Yeah. Why do you love this store so much? Well, it's just an incredible mixture of uncommon objects. <laughs> yeah. I like to just come in here and explore and kind of get lost. The really? thing I love about Uncommon <laughs> Objects too is that the aesthetic, they really take care in they curating it and like it the way it looks. So you know Austin pretty well. I do. What is it that you like about Austin? What makes it different? It's a place where I feel like crazy ideas are supported. There's a sense of community here. Mm -hmm. It is a big city. It feels like a small town. And you've got two films playing here. Yes. Two very different movies. Yes. You must feel lucky to have both films playing here. It's incredible, yeah. <laughs> and also on either side of the sort of things that I do, one is something that I produced, yep. one is something that I'm in, which is really cool. Should we go to spot number two? Let's do it. All right, so we're here at End of an Ear, which is my favorite record store in Austin. Okay, so this is your this is where I start. section. Always okay. where I start. What is this, the new arrivals? Ooh. Great record. I mean, honestly, I, I kind of come here for anything. So in addition to selling CDs, vinyl, this is the sort of like rare wall. Cassettes, oh still a thing. Oh my gosh, cassettes. Has not, has not died. Love there are labels them. now that are only releasing things on cassette. When did you get into DJing? Um, it was actually, I think, almost 15 years ago. I love music so much that the idea of be being able to play music that I love to a lot of people was an exciting thing, so I just started doing it as a hobby and, and, and I eventually moved into vinyl. There's one more. Should we? Let's go to church. So we are here at one of your favorite spots in Austin. Yes. Or should I say it's your favorite, number one favorite spot I overall? I think it is. Yeah. Uh, it feels like home. It's the Alamo Draft House. For people who have never been to the Draft House, yep. how do you sum up the vibe or what makes it special apart from the fact that you can get pickles and fried adult, pickles? Yeah, her favorite. Fried pickles and um, adult milkshakes. I don't know. It's a combination of being able to order a drink, have a meal, yep. but also be in a sacred space. By the way, we need to pay attention to this. Oh, yeah. We're walking through a monster's <laughs> mouth. Those are all Alamo employees. So there's loads of it's kind of like Easter eggs. You can spot the Alamo employees. And you can come and be on the shining carpet. The shining carpet. Play with us, Danny. There's a sort of love of cinema kind of everywhere you walk here. Everywhere you, you look. Know? And I love that you can come here, get tickets, and you can also get a beer. Yeah, it's an adult place. So it is an adult place. <laughs> There's a thing here of genuine enthusiasm for a num like a multitude of things. It's not just music. It's not just film. It's kind of whatever you're into, Everything. and that like bringing it all back around <laughs> is sort of the defining aspect of Austin. It's a place for enthusiasm where the thing you love will be supported and you'll find a group of people who love it too. I'm getting emotional talking about Keep it. Austin but weird. that's but that's a really it's a it's a very important aspect of this place. Elijah Wood, thank you so much for joining Alicia me. Alicia Malone, thank you. You can stay tuned to our South by Southwest coverage every single day right here on Movie Clips. I'm Alicia Malone.